Hey, hey everybody. everybody! Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Who Knows Me Best Alex edition. Uh, we did the other two last uh, week and the week before that, so uh, it's my turn. Alright, cool. without too much more, I feel like getting right into this thing. Awesome, let's do it. You will see, who I'm do you, Who do you think's going to win, me or Brian? Definitely Brian? not me. Well, Lindsay's already won the whole series, technically, right? Have I... I can't win myself. Well, technically, I can. <laughs> Wait, who who won the last two? I can't even remember. I Brian won, the first one. won. No, yours was the first one. I won you. Yeah. Brian oh. won me. And who's gonna win, Alex? I have to. <laughs> right, Alex well, has to win. So Alex. whoever wins this wins this. This is what it comes down yes. to. Yes, it's either gonna be Brian or me who wins the entire series. All right, let's see who knows each other best. Cool. I must. I'm a bit old-fashioned. I don't have it written out on the computer. I just have a clipboard here. That's okay. Yep. It matches your headphones. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It actually really does. <laughs> anyway. Right, let's get into this thing. Who knows me best? This one or this one? <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Question number one. What is my favorite color? Do you want me to keep you guys' tallies up in the corner? Sure. As well, like you did? I won't look. <laughs> I already wrote my answer. I'm going to put my pen up here. If I can put it in. There we go. I got it. I'm writing the same thing. I just didn't like where I put it. Okay. I thought you saw his answer was cheating. <laughs> Just kidding. I, you've already, you guys already accused me of doing it twice. Okay. Lindsay, I'm going to let you go first on this one. I put black. Okay. I put gray. The correct answer is gray. Dang it, I forgot. <laughs> you said that the other day because you wear a gray coat and you wear a gray shirt usually. Or gray shoes. And gray shoes. I thought they were black. Maybe they are gray. There's black on them, but they're mostly gray. Dang it. Brian got that one right. I need the slightest of sprays. Can you spray my paper towel? Say what? That's good. That's it's easier to clean these boards when you have something wet to work with. Is it Alex? Listen. <laughs> this is my video and I won't be having that attitude. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless you're giving it. I will give the attitude. <laughs> you will receive. In no other way than that. Okay. Question number two, everybody. We're already halfway through this. <laughs> what is my favorite number? Oh. I do have a favorite number. And it's not Michael Jordan. Don't eat me. <laughs> I've done that joke too many times. Brian goes first when he's finished. Can we know how many digits it is? I'm going to guess this one. Just Two because. digits. Two digits. Two, Two digits. digits. <laughs> and there's no... It's not like decimal places or anything like that. It's an actual number. What, didn't you like my pie joke? Listen, it's a good number. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mine okay. isn't like that. I'm going to guess this mine. just because I have no idea. So I'm going to guess 21. Okay. And I'm guessing 17. Okay. I don't know why. I just felt like 7 has to be part of it. Two in a row, 21. What? That's not cool. I'm gonna like come out of nowhere, aren't I? Probably. That's the same thing I did with Brian's. Like, Alex was winning and then I came out of nowhere and took all his points. It's two points for the B. Okay. Lucky like guess. B man. You should put Brian's on the left and mine on the right. That way when you hold your board up, 
it shows like Brian over there and Lindsay over here. That's how I did it. Now you have two points. Yeah. Until you erase them. <laughs> no. They didn't even hear me. What? Did you wiggle the pad. They didn't even hear me. Hear you what? About the twenty-one guess. You just guessed it. Not totally, but pretty much. You saw it. Nope, I did not see it. Then, well, what's your reasoning? Questions I listened, are you I listened to how many strokes you made. Oh. Oh. You're cheating. I still guessed. Totally guessed. But That's it was, cheating. <laughs> technically, it isn't. I did not he see it. He should lose a point. I did not see it. I knew it was two numbers. I copied Which it. he told us anyways. Question three. I copied from Lindsay and I asked the same question. It would be strange if you copied from Lindsay and asked this question. Uh, how many tattoos do I have? Because he couldn't ask that question. Right. I no could. Tattoos. You could, but the answer would be pretty easy. I have one. It just doesn't have color on it. <laughs> you need to explain his <laughs> lies to the to our audience. I got a tattoo done without ink. Because I thought it'd be funny to see what I felt like to have a tattoo. Now, I want to make some clarifications. Um, you will notice there are different shapes involved. That does not count as individual tattoos. Okay. It's Good. what I have when I have it. And what I consider to be one tattoo. No one look back here. <laughs> I have my answer. I'm putting my pen up. I'm guessing on this one. <laughs> okay. I'll go first. I'm guessing four. I'm guessing 12, just because I don't know. It's a good guess. And the answer is four. Lindsay Yay! has a point. I knew it was four. Mm -hmm. You have two on your upper arm. I thought you guys were saying you, said almo you almost had the same amount. No. No, we started around the same time. Yeah. Lindsay's oh. way ahead of me. Because I kept getting tattoo after tattoo every two weeks. You kept getting? I kept getting. That's not what you said. I kept getting. Okay. I got a tattoo every two weeks, so that's me. This is Alex's video. Quit being like that. What is my biggest phobia? <laughs> You'll find it someday. I wrote this really weird. Hopefully you can understand. Is there a Brian? preferred place that I can put this where you, no one can like look at it? Is it okay right I here? I can't see anything. Can that works see? for me. Okay. I put my pen up. Plus, I'm not looking at yours. I just want to make you sure. You accused me of cheating once. I didn't do it. She did it. Oh, true. <laughs> okay. Okay. Brian, you go first. I put deep water or drowning. Basically, they're the same thing in my mind. I put big slash deep water. So, like a tsunami wave or like really deep water where you can't see the bottom, that kind of thing. And I put a giant wall of water. So like um, the day after tomorrow, basically. So, technically, I get that one. So, no. I, since I put big water. What did you put exactly? Deep you water. Put deep water. And drowning. And drowning. And you put big water. Big water. And deep water. I need more squirty thing. Squirty thing incoming. Um, I don't know who to give this to. Maybe both of us should just get a point for effort. Yeah, I mean, a giant wall of water would be considered as deep water. So I'll give both of you a point. I don't know, though. My Lindsay was my actually mic. thinking of a tsunami. I was thinking of tsunamis. That's I why wasn't. I said big water. You did say drowning, which I'm not afraid of drowning. Well, everybody's afraid of drowning, but it's not my phobia. I don't know. I'll give you both a point. I think you both earned it. You both know it had to do with water, so that's better than nothing. I'm about to get real creepy over here. We can't see it. Okay. 
I had to get Well, this. I could see it. They can't see it. So they're lucky when they're She was not. using her monkey feet. <laughs> monkey feet. That's a great... Um, that's a great insult. I should start using that from now on. Did you... You've seen Without a Paddle, right? I don't know what that is. It's a I movie. It's hilarious. Movie. I don't watch movies. That's something I should put on this list. I don't watch movies. <laughs> what do I prefer? Movies or movies? Neither. Neither. Trick question. <laughs> All right, what is a phobia that I don't understand? I don't understand how people are afraid of this. I think I'm wrong. Maybe I would have been right. If I'm, if I was previously right, I'll let everybody know. Mm. I could write two answers down. I know, right? I'm gonna go with this one because I think I remember this. All right, I'm ready. Uh, who do we want to go first? Lindsay. Lindsay goes first. She has two answers anyway. Fear of the dark. Okay. Your turn. The one I can't understand is how people could be afraid of animals, so I put that down. Mm. My previous answer was people. Fear of people. Just to let everybody know. Before Alex, like, sorry. <laughs> Neither of you got it right. I don't understand the people that are afraid of a phobia of patterns of holes. What do they call that? Trypophobia? Oh, I like that. I don't think that that's... I think that that's foolish. No, no offense to anybody. I just don't. I don't get it. You don't, I don't understand. That's a thing. Sure. People say they start feeling itchy. Squirt. Squirt. He needs a squirt. <laughs> Wish I had a squirt. I like squirts. Ew. Squirt is a good soda. Isn't it though? Squirtle. Squirtle. Squirtle's also. Every time we set this down, it rocks my eardrums. <laughs> don't rock his drums. Okay, now we're switching on from a different topic. Those were topics that are kind of like non-categorical. They're just a little bit of everything. Phobias. Yes. Favorite color is not a phobia. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's true. <laughs> now we're going into food, which, I mean, look at me. I love it. <laughs> but you, you said you didn't much. like food. No, I don't like food. I'm just saying I eat a lot of it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? What would I rather have? For the rest of my life. Depends if you call dinner lunch or lunch dinner. Supper. Oh, you you. old-fashioned... <laughs> nematode. Nematode. I love that, too. You <laughs> old-fashioned monkey toad nematode. No, you can't use toad <laughs> twice. <laughs> Monkey-footed nematode. That's oh. a really good insult. I love that. I'm going to start using that now. And I think Brian goes first. Yeah. It is an even number. So we're going I to believe forward. he likes supper slash dinner for his sake, but I think dinner's still lunch. You're too old-fashioned for me. And I put breakfast. Wow. I feel like you like sausage and eggs. But he doesn't like getting up in the morning. Yeah, but you can stay up late and then eat breakfast. We went across the board because the correct answer is lunch. What? I love a lunch. Sandwiches are the greatest. You can eat sandwiches for breakfast. <laughs> what? You can. You we can, but you shouldn't. Well, you, you can eat breakfast, breakfast sandwiches. sandwiches. I just like eating food in the middle of the day. It's the best part of the day. I, I like eating in the, the morning. I hate eating in the morning. I used to not. I used to make me sick. Anyway, back to Alex. Currently makes me sick. <laughs> Wait, how many points does he have? You gotta be awake Three, to eat. And Lindsay has two. Oh, I'm catching up. Nobody's got any points for quite a little bit. I noticed. Okay. What is my favorite of all the meats? If I went to Arby's, not sponsored, and they asked me, they're like, we have the meats. If that deep voice guy was like, we have the meats, which one do you want? Well, don't they say we have the beef? The meats. No, the meats. Oh. <laughs> which one would I say that I want? This should be very obvious. If you know anything about me. The only thing I'm thinking is beef, pork, chicken, yum. Do -do 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 
Dun, dun, dun. She's uh, quoting Mulan, everybody. That should have been one of your questions. Talking about Disney <laughs> Disney songs and Disney music. That's actually going to be one of our competitions in the future. Look forward to it. Disney song challenge. I don't know anything about this. I only just learned of it. She told you about it. You forgot it. Probably. I'm just going to guess. I literally don't know. <sighs> I know, I'm sorry. It's an odd question, so Lindsay goes first. I put pork. Okay. So pig meat. Pig. I'm sorry, but he had to say Arby's. I had to say roast beef. That's the only sandwich he's ever gotten when I've been with him at my Arby's. Cow meat. Beef. Cow or pig. Neither of you are correct. The answer is... Chicken. Chicken. You like chicken too. Chicken is my favorite. Why are we all. not getting this right? But then why do you say Arby's? Because Arby's don't have chicken. They have chicken at Arby's. Oh, they do now. They just yeah. recently came out with it. So I am turning sideways a little. Well, oh, Arby's has fish too. Yeah. They have the meat. That's it's why the guys really like, good. we have the meat. I tried their fish sandwich. It was awesome. It are any of you weird. ever going to get a point again? Right? No, I'm going to win. Uh, With three points. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. What is my favorite fruit? You don't like fruit. I question. love fruit. Fruit! I would be a fruit if I could. That's not true. I like being human. For the time being. I'm the judge. I can't sneak an answer. She was hiding for me when I was doing it, too. Okay, Brian goes first. It is an even question, so he goes first. I have to put the most basic in apple. Mm. And I put oranges, tangerines, or clementines. I know it's a citrus fruit, and I know that it's like orange. I'm going with orange. Because every time I go to your house, you got oranges. I do have oranges all the time. You like oranges. I like oranges, but they're not my favorite. Serious? Neither is apples. I like pears. Ooh, those are my least I favorite. I hate pears. Pears are my favorite fruit. I only like canned pears. I don't even like canned pears. I like fresh pears, not canned pears. Why are we not getting anything right? Because none is of just you difficult. know anything about me. I am an enigma. You don't well, talk some about of these things. Some of these things, there's no way I could know. I didn't, like, live with you for 22 years. I didn't, I live, didn't with live with her for 22 years. No, but she was always seeing you all the time, staying at your house. Every weekend. That's Every about Every weekend. It. She wasn't paying attention. Too involved with herself. The only thing we ever did was play Battleship and tried to guess who Bernard was. <laughs> Bernard is my favorite character in Guess, guess who? who? Guess who? His name is Bernard, but we called him Bernard because it was funnier. Because it's way funnier than calling him Bernard. It's clearly Bernard. <laughs> Everybody always has the debate about snack food. Oh. This is a... There's two questions coming up that are a part of this debate. What is my favorite consistency of snack? So there's... For instance, there's like, there's crunchy, like that sort of a thing. There's crunchy. Crunchy, and, soft, squishy. Yeah, that sort of a thing. So, if you can get this right, try your best. Hmm. Interesting. This is a weird question. Almost all of mine are weird questions. Okay, I think I'm going to go with what I got. Should I go first? Yes. I put crunchy. The reason why I put crunchy is because every time he gets a water bottle, he likes to like smash it, and that makes a crunchy noise. Okay. So maybe he likes crunchy noises. I don't okay. know. I'm thinking too much into this. All right. And I put semi-solid, meaning like cheese or meat kind of consistency. 
So mm. not creamy, sloppy stuff. Um, all right. Uh, the answer is gummy. Everybody knows. Oh, you're a gummy dude. I'm a gummy dude. <laughs> Everybody knows well, How it. is that a snack food? That's candy. That's candy. Know. Snacks can be candy. Mm-hmm. Now you know going into the next one how you're to answer. You're a gummy guy. I'm a gummy dude. So semi-solid <laughs> would be close to right, then. Mm. Cheese is technically gummy and so is meat. Cheese not is not gummy. gummy. A little bit. If your spicy. cheese is gummy, you need to buy better cheese. <laughs> no, that's the right kind of cheese. The mozzarella is gummy. It's not gummy. Fresh mozzarella is kind of gummy. <laughs> um, okay. Now you know going into it, my snack flavor. You know how there's salty and that sort of stuff. What's my favorite? All right, you go first, Mr. B. I put fruity. Since he's talking about gummy, it's got to be fruity. And I am smart, and I think I might know the answer to this, and it's sour. Alex is a sour kind of guy. But sour mm. is the flavor. Sour and gummy. Sour is to the flavor. There is receptors in your taste buds that only go off for sour flavors. Salty flavors, nutty flavors, fruity flavors, sour. taste buds. Sour is also a flavor. Can we stop arguing? <laughs> okay, what is the answer? The answer was correct. Fruit. Oh, you like sour. You sour. like lemon head. Sour, sour is good, is but it's adjective. not my favorite. Sour fruit is an adjective. Whatever. Lifesavers gummies are the greatest thing in the world. Oh, they are, aren't they? I love them. But we don't support lifesavers. I we support, support life We're not sponsored by them. We support they them. They don't support us. I support lifesavers. They don't support me. <laughs> Unless you're choking. And you're right. neck deep in water. Why would you be choking if you're only neck deep? <laughs> That's why the lifesavers have a hole in it. I just made fun of a lot of people. <laughs> oh, jeez. You could choke on a spoonful of water. You could, too. Brian does it all the time. Shut up. <laughs> All right, everybody knows here that I don't like soda. But if I had to drink soda, what soda would it be? Mm. Should I go first this time once Brian's done? Sure. I'm putting clear soda. What does that mean? Like Ceramist Seven Up. Go for an actual seven brand up. name. Both of you can redo if you'd like. Go for an actual brand. Then I'm gonna go with Seven Up. Okay. And I'm gonna go with Grape, Fanta specifically, or Sun Kiss. One of those two, but he calls it purple. Purple soda is delicious, <laughs> but it is not my favorite. I like Sprite. Oh, I was close with clear that soda. Is, that is so my least favorite. I love Technically, Sprite. she did get it with clear soda, though. Okay, clear soda, I'll give you a point. You need one anyway. I'm not trying to say you're desperate for points or anything. Brian's going to win with one point. I got four now. One point ahead of me. I think it's great on here. Well, not on my own. <laughs> Or in my mouth. Gross. <laughs> the pizza that says she likes. Don't. Don't say it. You're she, on mic. She likes the st- uh, smell of ammonia. What? Oh. That's not what I thought you were going to say. What did you think I was going to say? Now I'm really curious. Nope. <laughs> You'll have to tell me help. later. I no. like the taste of it too. You like the taste of ammonia? <laughs> no. <laughs> Squirt soda. <laughs> you people. I'm bothering Alex. Okay. When uh, the one day of the year when that the I. Night. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said one the. <laughs> when the night is gone and the land is won. You see what I have to live with? It's the only. Well, actually, he's the one who has to live with see. it. So down and down and stand by me. Oh, so 
Sorry, I'm going on a little like a montage. Okay, let's go. When the what? Uh, the one time of the year that I drink alcohol, what is my favorite to drink? Now, both of you should get this. Correct. Wait. Um, can we have a context clue? What do you mean, context clue? Like a drink or yeah, just plain true. alcohol? A specific drink. My favorite alcohol. That I always request. Is tequila, but I drink margaritas. I don't know you. You know it. I request it once a year, every year. You can do it, I believe. And Brian gets to go first. I'm not done. When the time comes. He asks for it every single time if I'm correct. I'm just gonna guess. I hope I'm right. I don't know. We make these every time, so. Alright, who goes first? Brian. Okay. I go first? Oh, yeah. It's an even question. Okay, I did a screwdriver. Orange and vodka. And I put screwdriver as well. Because wow. we make those every year. Wow. Neither of you thought of Sweet Tea Moonshine. Oh, jeez. We did forget that. But that's, like, made that way. So that's not a mixed drink. drink. That's it's, technically a moonshine. It's what I request. That was what I said. I request it every year. She asked if it was a mixed drink. I never answered that question. <laughs> well. But we were both wrong. I was thinking mixed drink. I should have thought of it. Um, okay, now we're moving on to animals, everybody. What is my most requested pet? That if I could have, I would have it. My pet. No, she's a corpse. <laughs> I don't want a corpse. Sorry. Not into corpses. Like you with your sea turtles. This is my pet. Oh, it's a pet that you can't have? I probably could have it, but I'm never going to because I'm lazy. I just give you too much context clues. Well, now I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm just going to leave my answer the way it is. Maybe you got it right. What is that? There's hair in this. That's called a cl uh, dry erase board. No, this. <laughs> my eraser. Don't do it yet. Okay. I'll give you an extra point if you can get the, the exact species correct. Okay, and now I know I definitely don't got mine right. <laughs> I don't have species, as Alex said. I have said that before. <laughs> you can't own one of those. <laughs> you can try. I wish I could ask one hand. Ask a hand. Is it indoors or hand? outdoors? Uh, drop my eraser. They can go outdoors, but it's uh, advised not to. Okay. For safety reasons. For the creature or the person? <laughs> For the creature. <laughs> it's, a, it's a chimpanzee. You take it outside and it rips your face off. <laughs> Isn't that what happened to that guy? That's what happens to everybody who owns chimpanzees and they don't get rid of them by the time they turn into adults. Sorry, chimpanzee owners out there. Get rid of it before it becomes an adult. Or it will rip your face off. Chimpanzees go for the eyes. Exotic? Maybe. That's what you call exotic. I'm going to start humming the Jeopardy theme real quick. Do, 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 do. Go. Hold up, is it? Do, 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 yes. Do, Lindsay do, goes first. I'm going with Possible something two points. out of the dark here. Didn't I didn't mean to Wait, offend anybody. Wait, let me think something. I accidentally did this. 
Yeah. And that's bad overseas. You're meant to do this. Oh. I did it a second time. I remembered something that he talked about the other week. Oh? Yeah, you said something, and now I'm curious. I say a lot of things. Uh, you said something weird. specifically yeah. about this. So I'm going to try it. Is he going to get another point? I hope not. Hmm. I think, if I remember correctly, you said something about this. Okay. I think I might know it. You have to tell us what your original answer was. You too, because you both had original answers. My original answer was cat. Because you always talking about owning a cat. Mm. But then I like then you said it can't go outside, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure cats can go outside. I'm pretty sure they don't have very many breeds. <laughs> We're getting a phone call. It's not a vibrator. That sounds awesome in the microphone. <laughs> Who is it? Yo, mama. He wishes. Can we pause it and I can answer it? Uh, he's gonna take a side break. Alright, he'll be right back. See ya. Ah, uh, it went through his eyes. Never mind. Alright, he's not leaving. Lindsay. But I put a cat, and cats don't really have that many breeds, as Alex said the last week. They really don't. But they do. But They're domestic house cats usually... Not like dogs. Don't have, like, breeds. Like dogs. They're you like know the difference. Cats, cats yep. not so much. So, I think I remember something. Mm. <laughs> Voicemail. <laughs> Alex talked about this a while ago. I can't wait. An African gray parrot. <laughs> okay. Is that a breed of anything? We'll yes, find it out. Is. Okay. And he had said something about a painted box turtle the other... Been a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah. And I'm uh, sorry. I'm just curious. Lindsay talked about having a sea turtle. I wanted a sea turtle. I still do. You, you want to know the one. answer? Parrot African Grey. <gasps> I got two points! You got two points. I remembered. When were you talking about that? Why Forever. did that pop in my brain? I've wanted an African gray for ever since I knew that they existed. That's I funny. I've never too. heard oh. of that one from you. They are some of the most talkative parrots in the world. They are. And they learn some of like the most exact phrases. There's like one that... I watched this one African on gray, though not one of the best for pets. I know they're not very... F like. I know that they're like solitary in many ways like they don't really make very strong bonds or something like that but um there's one african gray that knows like a thousand different words and it'll just like talk and just sit there and talk all day i saw this one on youtube and it was like having a temper tantrum and it was up on top of his cage screaming mm. and it kept yelling stop it stop it shut up shut up stop it because apparently it heard that a lot. <laughs> I think the worst one I heard is that cockatoo. <laughs> yeah, cockatoos and cockatoos are very yelly. They <laughs> love yelling. This one goes I love around them. saying all the curse words. Oh, yeah. They're good at that. Um, speaking of dogs, what's my favorite dog breed? Oh, gee. I know you said this. I'm going to go on a guess. I think I misspelled this. But it's okay. What was your original before you put down turtle? I was thinking a horny toad, but I realized that was Lindsay, not you. Toad? I never wanted a toad. It's called a horny toad. It's a lizard. Okay. I never wanted one of those. Why is it called a toad if it's a lizard? I don't know. Are Seems you sure silly. you're not naive? Yeah, you talked about it. I don't think so. They're they're like a really flat lizard that lives in the Arizona desert. Mmm. The whole lizards. No, not like those. <laughs> they're flat, right? 
favorite breed of dog? I don't know, but why did I feel like you said something about this before? Alex, does Brian go first? Uh, yeah. I put down a beagle. I put down a bull mastiff. I don't know why. Mm. Well, Brian's the closest, because they are cousins, but I like basset hounds. Uh, oh, I love cousins. those! They're very similar they're dogs. Both about the same thing. But basset hounds I are shorter hound. and we fatter and floppy. Just like me. I'm not short, but I am very fat and floppy. Just like a basset hound. I love basset hounds. They're so cute. Why did I get that wrong? Sound like you have a grievous to air. No. I was trying to say if there's a question worth asking. Ask it. See, we always said they were pretty much the same thing. They're but what either. exactly is the difference between them? Well, basset hounds are short and fat and floppy, mm. and beagles are smaller and they run around and. They're well, I wonder what kind was ours. Do things. We called her a beagle, but she was short and floppy. Then she's probably a basset hound. So there's an actual legitimate difference between the two. Yes. yes. I see. For instance, I've never known somebody that owned a basset hound. I want one. I almost owned one. He was like eight years old though. Mom wouldn't let me get him. Mm. He was in a kennel. So it's not like they're actually the same family then? No. But they're different. They're very similar dogs though. Yeah. They're like biological cousins. The different breeds. They're like, like real close. Could it be that one is from a different area? What do you mean? We well, you know like some dogs were bred in different areas. Very similar, same breeding, but different names from different areas. No, they're 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 different animals. Like you could tell by looking at them, mm -hmm. they're different. But they're just they're like you can tell by looking at their faces that they're like the same, like very similar. Hmm. Droopy the dog is a basset hound. Really? Yeah. Hmm. No, he's a beagle. Oh. He's gray though. That's the interesting thing. Okay, All right. next question. What's my favorite animal ever? One that you would likely find in a zoo. It should be very easy. Mm, I take my, my answer. Right. Can I ask Alex a question? You may but ask not me a question. An answer. I'm asking him if this is the right one. But not the answer. Like there's a breed and I want to write it down. Okay. Is number one right or is number two right? For the breed of the one at the top. Number one is the correct way okay. of saying that. I want to say it the right way. I don't want to look that dumb. Because I am Number one dumb. is one of number two. Oh, okay. But not all number twos are number one. Okay. Brian is probably so confused. <laughs> and their audience. Not all number twos are number one. Not all giraffes are horses, but all horses are giraffes. What? <laughs> That's what he's thinking. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> You ever think about that? The giraffes are in the same family as horses? Sounds creepy. They are pretty creepy. I don't like them. They like flop their necks around. You know, Matt Hardy has a giraffe. Who? Matt Hardy. From the Hardy Boys? Why does he want one of those? He has one. Why does he have one? His name is George Washington. Why? Just because. Okay. A little bit weird. Maybe midlife crisis? Yeah, he's looking like it. Just saw him last night. <laughs> Went to his house? Yeah. And visited? The Hardy compound. Alright. Is it my turn to go first? Or is Brian finished? Her turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's Lizzie's turn. I put a silverback gorilla. Okay. That's a good one. 
I'm lazy, so I put down a hippo. <laughs> Hippopotamuses are pretty cool. They're scary, yeah, yeah. They do eat anything and everything that gets in their way. I once saw a hippopotamus eat a flamingo in one bite. Ew. Just crushed it. The answer is gorilla. Yay! Sorry, that was really loud. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be louder later. True. I think I can understand how Alice felt About when, when they were doing mine. Oh. It's kind of hard, isn't it? Well, I know nothing about Alex. I didn't give Lindsay a point. For I got myself a point. I have so six you're at now. six, and Brian is at four. Not very far behind. Because the dumb bass and Harold Beagle mix up. I still think they're the same thing. <laughs> okay, we're getting into music now. Oh, God. This is where I screw up. What is my favorite genre of music? And I'll accept two answers. Because I like them both equally. I can't remember what it's called. I don't know how to spell it, but I know you've talked about this. I think these are genres. I have not the fogiest. Not the John Fogartyist. Sorry, that wasn't very funny. I don't even think that's his first name. Is it John Fogarty? What is his last name? Or first name? I don't know who you're talking about. Neither do I. Okay, well, it's not like we're in the music section or anything. I don't know anything This is music. all on pudding, because I don't know what it's called. Whose turn is it to go first? I, I think, think it's mine. Brian, because yeah. I went first with gorillas. Yeah. Brian? Okay, I put down dubstep or techno. And I put down electronic music. Ones that are like, like, what's that song? Um, where the girl lures down the child predator into the basement and then like cracks his neck. Oh, that's a Skrillex song. Oh, I love that song. That, that, the idea of that song is that she's not actually a girl. The rise of the phoenix or whatever. Yeah, it's like the rise. It's actually like an angler fish. How they have that little like thing that the light. Yeah. Well, the light is the little girl luring in predators. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, I love that what's video. What's that mo- movie, or what's that song called? Uh, that's the Equ- song by Equinox. Skrillex. Uh, Equinox is his one album. I think that's, um, I can't even think what that album is even on, or that song is on anymore. I think it's, is it Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites? No. Or was it, it might have actually been on Equinox, I don't know. But the answer is indie and metal. I love indie music and metal music. So we both got it wrong. True. I like my Why do you always talk about dubstep then? You never talk about those two. I love dubstep, but it's not my favorite. I see. That's the one you always talk about. I mostly like bro step actually. Anytime I hear like, like a Mario theme in a dubstep song, I'm like, yes, you've made my life complete. And uh, continuing on with music, uh, my favorite indie artist. Which y'all would have no way of getting this unless you really know anything about me. I can't put anything down. I do not know any indie. Don't even know what the hell indie is. Independent. Meaning they don't have like a record label. If you don't know it. I don't know how to spell. Do you like what Lindsay suggested? Just put your little uh, question mark. I put a little question mark because I don't know how to spell it. Mm Mm-hmm. It might be this way. I need to adjust. My pen is down, so I cannot cheat now. Not that I was. I keep bumping my mic. An interesting thing is that this uh, this band put out an album back in 2017 that the cover of it looks just like this uh looks just like this rug cool it's almost identical it's a blanket yeah blanket it's um almost made quilt okay so do i go first yes i put the gorillas i don't know Mm. how to spell it but i know alex used to really like them i still really like them so I anything don't know. for you? And I didn't put anything because I have not a hairy clue about music. 
My favorite indie artist is the Decemberists. Cool. And the album is uh, What a Wonderful World, What a Terrible World. has almost identical to this quilt awesome. on, the, on the album art. And as a continuation and the final question for music, what is my favorite metal artist? Because that was my other favorite music to Once again, I don't know. Music is not my strong suit. The Amish didn't allow music. Yeah, you were kind of out of the world for a long time, so... The rest I of the have... world couldn't really get to you, so we can't really blame you for that. I have a guess. Okay. Slipknot. And yours is blank? I, like I said, mine's not. The answer is Slipknot. I thought of that. I was going to say corn, but I was like, no, corn's not right. Corn is pretty good. So that's seven for Lindsay and four for Brian. Now we're moving on to nerdy stuff. Yeah. You might have some a leg up on Lindsay because mm -hmm. you're learning to be more nerdy. Well, Lindsay's learning. You're. I've always been nerdy. It's just that nobody accepts it. You're ahead of I her in this, in this genre. Okay, my favorite superhero power. Not a, an actual superhero, but a power. Like a superpower, my favorite one. He's copying mine. I did the same thing. You did? Because remember you and Lindsay kept on guessing super speed. Oh yeah, I guess super speed. I got my answer. Who goes first on this? I, I went first know. last time with Slipknot. Uh, you no, you didn't go first. I, I said I don't know it. Well, then it's my turn first. Yeah, you go first on this one. Don't say anything yet. You're dropping everything. I put invisibility. Okay. I put telekinesis. Ah, interesting. The answer is teleportation. Interesting. So you like to be like Jumper? I don't think I've ever known that. Um, Jumper, I don't know what that is. He teleports, he looks at a picture, he can teleport there. Hmm. I was thinking more like Nightcrawler. He teleports. The X Memoria. Next is the exact opposite. The worst superpower. The one I think is the most boring, useless, just not fun.
I'm not very good at this. I don't know very many, like, superpowers. Mm -hmm. Not very good with the supers. The supers. So, I just put the best thing I know how to put. Wow. That audio went crazy for a second. <laughs> what happened to it? Because you got, like, way up on it. Oh, I'm sorry. And I have no idea either. But I know what I'd like the least. Mm. I feel like it's a total waste of time. You get to go first, so... I put laser vision. Laser vision. I put super strength. Super strength. Okay. I don't know. I put super speed. Uh, it's completely pointless. I hate it. Even if you could turn back time or anything? Super speed people can't turn back time. Technically for themselves they could. Which one? The flash. He can't turn back time. When did he ever turn back time? He might have turned back time. I don't watch DC. Or read it or anything. But Flash turned back time to for himself to teleport back to when his mom and dad got killed. Hmm. By the other guy. Reverse Flash. Alright. This is going to be a Lindsay answers first question. Who is my favorite superhero of all the superheroes ever? Marvel, DC, Dark Horse. Does anybody count that? Mm. Oh no, I drew on myself. I think you can get off with the squirty stuff. Oh, no, no, no reason. <laughs> I'm not going to get this right. I'm just going to... Can I put something down and ask you if it's like a superhero, Alex? You may. No, that doesn't count. Okay, I don't Can I see my whistle? No. Why not? You whisper it to him. Hmm? Fine, I'll rewrite it and then you can read it. Well, we can say it. It's not like it's... I don't want people to think I'm dumb. Oh. He was a hero, but not a superhero. Oh. No, it's correct. <laughs> oh, I write it wrong. <laughs> I Did I write it right the first time or no? No. Wait, I don't remember, actually. I don't remember either. So you're saying any superhero? In comics. In comics. Marvel, DC, Dark Horse. I think. Dark Horse, a comic mm -hmm. group, people. I have not. They're the ones who did Spawn, I think. Oh, okay. Or was that someone else? Um, they did Hellboy. Is that... A Hellboy is done by DC. No. I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's done by Dark Horse comics. Is it? I think so. I think Dark Horse are also the ones that do the Walking Dead comics. I might be completely wrong. In which case, let me know down below in the comments, please. Because Hellboy deals with Aquaman. Not Aquaman. Uh, what's his name? Aquaman? No, that fish guy. Abe? Yeah. Abe Sapien? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's just a, that's a Hellboy character. Yeah, I know. But I thought they put him out later on. Who's first on this? Lindsay. I do. Lindsay. A superhero that Alex would like. He likes teleportation, does not like super speed. I will say that the, the superhero that's my favorite has nothing to do with either of those powers. Well, he might have something to do with one of them. But nothing to do with the other. He's a very strange choice. Most people wouldn't pick him. And I did just give you a hint by saying him. So you know it's not a super heroine. You know it's a superhero. I have no idea. There's no Black Widow. No. None of them. No Storm. I'm not done yet. I'm not guessing. I don't know. No Rogue. I'm waving my white flag. 
No, Gwenpool. Who's the new Deadpool? Every superhero female has been named Gwen. Because of Spider-Man. Although, Spider-Man! A little bit of J. Jonah Jameson. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to get through all through my head of all of them. There's a lot of superheroes. I know, that's what's taking me so long. Do you want me to narrow it down for you even more? It might not do me any good. It's not from DC, he's from Marvel. Do you want to call a timer on this before yes. too long? Yes, there is a timer. You have one minute. Do, 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 do. I wish I knew what that guy's name was. I'm going to write his ability. No, that won't work. No, screw it. I'm just going to put a question mark because I could guess a million other ones, but I'd just be guessing. So I don't know. Nobody knows? The answer is the Silver Surfer. Why do you like the Silver Surfer? Because he's nobody's favorite superhero. He's terrible. He does have some sort of super speed. I will admit, he can go pretty fast when he's on the board. But he's boring. That's why I like him. He's boring. He does no character whatsoever. That's what I love about him. I never would have guessed that one. Nobody ever would. I watched the Silver Surfer once. I thought, boy, he's worthless. I feel bad for him. Why is that? To be the servant of Galactus like that. Oh, he needed a little squirty squirt. And y'all can start going ahead on the next one, because it's just like this one. Who do I think is the worst superhero ever made? This is very easy. Brain goes first. I'm just going to go by context clues. Thing is. In DC or in all comics ever. Move the squirt bottle a little bit to the right, Brian. Well, since he doesn't like super speed, I put down the flash. Okay. I put down Superman because he said it was easy and I don't know much, so. The answer is Superman. I, I got it right. Absolutely hate Superman. He's Why is that? Because he has every single power. Yeah, that's true. He's way overrated. And the the first time they ever killed him, they brought him back to life immediately. And it's like, as far as I know, it's the only time he's ever died. To me, he's just a boring character. He's the reason I don't like, and this is a, a comparison a lot of people draw, the reason I don't like Superman is because the reason I don't like John Cena. They can... Never be beaten and everybody has to love them. Hmm. All right. So at current count, it's eight to four in Lindsay's favor. Now we're leaving the nerddom and we're entering into something that's more accessible. What is my favorite of all the holidays? And I go first, right? Mm -hmm. Should be, because Brian went first last. It's an odd one, so Lindsay goes first. 
I'm guessing Halloween. I'm also guessing Halloween. Two points on the board. Halloween. I didn't guess, though. Oh? Uh-huh. You told us about three weeks ago. I tell everybody all the time that Halloween's the best. I knew that one from a long time ago. And in contrast, what's the worst hol- holiday? The worst Halloween. The worst holiday ever, in my opinion, is this. An English holiday, right? It's the ones that I would celebrate. And when you say it's the worst, why do you say it's the worst? Because it's boring and commercialized and just everything about it's awful. So that only gives two really strong options. Hmm. I have my answer. I think Brian goes first. If it's an even question. Do you not know? I was going to try this one, but I just don't like it. I put down Easter. I put down Valentine's Day. The correct answer is Christmas. Okay. I can't stand how commercialized Christmas is. I agree with that, but at least Christmas you do a family. Not anymore, you don't. I put down Valentine's Day because, like, you don't really get anything. Not that I want anything. I'm just saying, like, no candy. You can get a box of chocolates. Yeah, but you can't eat chocolate, so... I'm sure you, I can't. Y'all can. But they have hearts. Chocolate hearts? No, the heart candy hearts. Okay. The sweet hearts. What is the my preferred climate to live in? Like, if I was to move, where would I like to be? Actually, when when you say that, what area would you like to move? Like northern, southern, eastern, western, or um, what type of year do you like best? As in cold, hot, climate, rainy. That's what I mean. Like climate. Like I'll Maybe I'll give you two season? points for this. I'll give you two points. I'll give you one point if you can correct the guess. Look, the if you can guess the correct location. And if you can guess the correct weather to be expected in that area. Wait a minute. Are we talking about, like... To live in. For the rest of my life. No, I'm meaning, like... Like, seasons? Like, spring, summer, winter, fall? Well, everywhere has all the seasons. So Um, it's not like a specific season. True. They only have the good ones. Like, for instance, a correct no, answer would be the snowy north, or like the humid south, or something like that, or, or like, you know, Arizona, that's the dry south, you know, the dry southwest, that sort of a thing. This is a possible two points. I'm guessing. I don't know. Who goes first on this one? I think I do. Yes, you do. Brian went first last time. My feet hurt. I need to adjust. Sorry if I bumped you. I put these two down, if it's okay, because both of them contain this one type of area. Okay. My turn? Mm hmm. I put snowy Montana. 
To like the snowy north? Yeah. Okay. I put like the cool snowy north. And I put Rockies, Montana, Colorado area. Alright. The answer is the rainy northwest. Like the Pacific Northwest. Oregon, Seattle, that kind of an area. You like rain? Yes, I love the rain. I see. Well, not Seattle. I meant like Washington. I would never live in like Seattle. Nothing, nothing against Seattle. It's just not my preferred thing. Then you like Northern California. Then. I like Portland. That's what I like. It's about the same. It's going out. We gotta get to it. <laughs> um. Okay. If I was to vacation. Like, what type of a place would it be? Like, people can go vacation and be, like, camping in the woods or something like that. What do I think is, like, the best, like, vacation destination? What type of a place? Not an actual place. I don't know. <laughs> I think what we're finding out today is that not very many people know much about me. You don't talk a lot. Mm, true. I talk too much. So you know everything about me. I still want to see my video again and see how it worked with you guys knowing me. Because <laughs> I wonder if you knew as much about me either as I know about you. What question are we on? We are currently at question 26. We're nine away. End. How long have we been recording for? We started at 3.15. What time is it? 4.24 Wow. Yeah. We've been recording for a while. Mm-hmm. Not as long as yours, but we right. also had that bunch at the beginning, too. Well, no. I mean, oh, we started yeah. the video at 3.15. You're right. Brian goes first. I went first last time, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, I put cooler, quiet places. For example, Maine, Alaska. I was going to write BC, but I couldn't remember if that was the right one. No, Newfoundland. That's the one I was looking for. Newfoundland. Before Christ. British Columbia. <laughs> My answer, I put tending in the woods by the creek. Okay. The creek. <laughs> I don't know. Because you don't like swimming in the ocean. Right. But you do like swimming in pools. Okay. So, like, creeks are the same. Creeks. But he's not big on an outdoors person. Well, hold up now. I like a white sandy beach. I'm going to give Brian a point because he said a word in there that I really like. Quiet. I want to go to a white sandy beach where there ain't nobody else there but me. Is there any such thing? Yes. I will find it. And it will be mine. And nobody else will be allowed to be there. So Brian gets a point for quiet. I'll give him a point on that one. Oops, sorry, microphone. <laughs> okay. Next question. Next question. These are questions about, like, my free time. What is my favorite cartoon? And y'all know, we love cartoons here. I'm just curious, is this considered a cartoon? I think it is. Are we talking adult cartoons or children's cartoons? Uh, meant like for Cartoon kids. Network yes. or is that considered Adult Swim? A cartoon? That's considered a cartoon. Okay. Yes. But it's a Cartoon Network cartoon, so it is meant for kids. Okay, so this wouldn't work then. I would right. say no, it would not work. No, that's Adult that's, Swim, Brian. Yeah. The same one I probably win for that one. Hmm? It's probably win for that Whoa. one. Whoa! <laughs> it's running away. <laughs> Trying to escape. 
Y'all know I gotta have my mint. Whole genre or just a specific one? What? The whole group or just a specific one? Cartoon. For example, you have Disney cartoons, you have A Looney specific Tunes. cartoon. So it's not like you couldn't just like say Looney Tunes and have it right. Well, Looney Tunes is a cartoon. Yeah, Looney Tunes is a cartoon. Like they had the Looney Tune Adventures or whatever. That's but no, you can't just say Disney. That won't count. It has to be a specific cartoon. See, Looney Tunes for me is everything. You got your Runner run and Wiley Coyote. You have Yosemite Sam and Bugs Bunny. Mm. That Daffy doesn't Duck. Count. You can't say just Looney Tunes for everything. That's what I'm saying. You, you'd have to say like Sylvester and Tweety Bird. Mm. Adventures or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And this is my go first because it's 27, right? Mm-hmm. Question 27. I just know this is your mom's one of her best ones, so mm. we'll try that one. Okay. I put Adventure Time. Uh, is that a kid's cartoon? Yes, it is. It's on Cartoon Network. And I'm going to be old-fashioned because I don't Damn know. Damn it, I know what it is. <sighs> okay, go ahead. I'll let you guess, but it won't count if you get it right. But you go. He guessed Tom and Jerry. Yeah, I'm going to be old-fashioned guess Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. I don't know the modern cartoons. My second guess would have been... Damn it, what's it called? Teen Titans. Teen Titans. I love Teen Titans. Wait, this is Alex. This, this is, is me. me. <laughs> well, he's... Okay, I'm going to guess Teen Titans, but my original answer was Adventure Time. But he Teen Titans will Time. not count. It doesn't really matter because the answer is Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh, that's my favorite cartoon. It's my Love favorite these kids. cartoon. I love Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Damn. You guys are such kids. I don't even hardly know anything about them. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta be old fashioned. Those are the only good cartoons anymore. Brian, shut up. <laughs> You're like 50 years old. Get out. Holy crap, I just turned 30. <laughs> this is a boys only club. Get out, old man. <laughs> right? I'm a boy too. As I spit on Alex. Of the Ed, Ed, and Eddies, which one is my favorite? Side characters? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, the three? You gotta pick one of them. I don't know how to spell it. This should be easy. Okay. Considering I am who I am. If you know anything about me, you know which one of these three I am most like. I know it. I know it. And Brian goes first. You just have to pick an ad. Double D. Hmm. Suck it. One E. One D. One E. They all have one E. One E, one D. Ed. Monobrow. Butter toast. I love him. Lindsay gets a point. I like Ed. He's my favorite. <laughs> I am Ed. I know who your off character would be. Who's that? Should I write it down? No, just say it. Rolf. No, no, no. Rolf you is... You like Rolf. Rolf is more this guy. He's like weird and strange and he talks about weird stuff. You I like do Rolf. like the things that Rolf says. Rolf is a hilariously written character. I but Johnny 2 by 4 is my favorite side. Oh, uh, Johnny okay. and Plank. Plank. Every time you do that, you get a little bit on me. You guys have to learn how to use your paper towel to do it right. My paper towel is no longer paper towel. Right. Alright, so look, I still, have, I still have the outside of my... You gotta just learn this from the old-fashioned pro. From Rolf. Who right. actually grew up using whiteboards and chalkboards in school. I used a chalkboard yeah. when I was in elementary school. I had chalkboards. When they got rid of them because they were tired of kids having allergies from the chalk. It's BS. It's true. Shut up. We had chalkboards I had to go out in and high school. It was my duty. I had to go out and clap the truck racers together. I mm -hmm. hate those. We took turns doing that. I love doing that. I hated it. Okay. It's my turn to go first, right? Yes. Of all the things you could do in your free time, 
watch movies, listen to music, Come all on. these kinds of things. What's my favorite free time activity? Sleeping. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> when you're not sleeping? When I'm not sleeping, it's the thing I do most and I enjoy doing the most. A whole group of things? The whole genre. No, the, the whole, like, what it is. You'll see when I put, whenever I reveal my answer. I'll give you points if you're correct. <clears throat> okay. Can I go first? Yes. What are you doing looking at mine? <laughs> I watched you write it and I almost got sad. What you're is not happening? supposed to look at mine. Well, quit writing it so low. Write it like you're scared. Get way over there. You don't have to look at mine. I look over at you guys. Tita. We need to stop fighting. I'm not cheating because you don't know the answer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Lindsay, go first. I put listening to music and playing Minecraft at the same time. You That's like... not fair. There's two. That's there. two answers. No, but you put your Minecraft on and then you put your headphones on and like jam out while you're playing. I do. But this That's, is you not... told me you do that. Fine. Listening to music. Okay. That's going to be your final sure. pick? What did you put? Hanging out with his sister in his free time. That's the, uh, that's the, that's the suck up answer. <laughs> I did that before. <laughs> I don't think I did. But neither of them were correct. Video games. That's my free time. I was going to put that, but I, I was like... Minecraft. You, I um, asked you if that's your final answer. Besides, you're four ahead anyway. I was going to put video games. Why I was going to put you? gaming. I was like, well, that's too broad. That's what I do. Remember the intro video, everybody? I told you it's what I do. I put listening to music, but you do that, too. I do that. <laughs> Not as much Every as Every time I see you have headphones on your ears. Well, you're right. It's just, <laughs> I'm going to do that as much as I do the video games. Okay, next question. My favorite genre. I wouldn't say genre. I would say... What's my favorite, like, series of video games? This should be obvious. What does series mean? Like, like someone would say, what's your favorite, like, say the answer was reading books. What's your favorite book to read? For example, you someone have Call would of say Duty, Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah, um. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Halo. Modern Warfare? That's the name of Battlefield, sorry. I meant Battlefield. I don't know why I said Modern Warfare. I said Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That's what it was. That is a game. Yes, I know. But I was meaning Battlefield. Who goes first? Brian, right? Okay, I put GTA. And I Random put Empire. Assassin's Creed. Oh, no. Dang, that's probably right. The answer is Assassin's Creed. And I even put the little Assassin's Creed logo. Yay! Do you know what that logo actually is? Isn't that supposed to be the... Um... This is actually a thing that exists in the world. This. Is it a dagger? Butt mm -hmm. plug? <laughs> You put that thing, it ain't coming back out. Looks no. like a thumbtack in that. Anyway. That is an eagle skull. A butt play? <laughs> no. You need to stop with the butt play. We're doing a I video. I don't like butt play. Well, you're talking about it a lot. Like, you enjoy it. <laughs> that is does, where the though. beak is. And that's at the base of the skull. Interesting. Where it connects to the neck. That's what that little thing is. Cool. That's how the people that created Assassin's Creed came up with that logo. They saw it. And they actually put that in the most recent Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> they stuck an eagle head up their butt. Listen, you need to stop. You need to stop doing it. 
<laughs> sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. I don't like it, Brian. So does. sorry to everybody who's going to hear this. <laughs> it's your fault. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. She's not even drunk. I'm not drunk. I was drunk the other night. I might still have a hangover, but that's a different story. Now you have to apologize for that. Why do I? Listen, people are going to watch this. I don't care. They at least know who I am. Here's one that both of you should get easy points on. What's my favorite movie genre? So, what's my favorite type of movies to watch? The answer is very simple. I can't spell it. I'm an idiot. Okay, I got my answer. Brian goes first. Does he? Mm-mm. If it's odd, I go first. Brian went first last time with it is odd. GTA. Yes, he did. I go now? Yeah. Brian, ready? Not totally. Mm. I'm not sure if this counts. You said the whole genre, right? Yes. Like, when you're searching through, like, the on-demand section, if it shows up as one of the genres, then I would accept it. So, like... Drama, comedy. Alex likes his drama. Oh, you know I like that drama. What What's a good idea? What's an example? I think it's still drama considered. Movie? I think it's still considered. So I'll keep it. If it's not considered, then I'll explain I what I mean. I thought you didn't like movies. I don't. But, but if when he I had do, to choose one, this is what he would choose. Like under. soda. I hate soda, but if I drank it. It would be Sprite. Sprite tastes like cardboard. Yeah. It does not. It does too. So does 7 Is it my turn? Is it odd? Yes. Yes. Go now? Yes. I put horror, scary, thriller. Like, that's the genre. Horror is a genre. Thriller is a genre. Scary is a genre. They're pretty much all the same. I'm going with scary movies. I just put down science fiction. The answer is horror. I like my Freddy Kruegers and my Jason. So I got a point? Mm hmm. My uh, Jason Voorhees is and my uh, kid that grew up to kill people in the Halloween movies. What is his name? Michael, Michael Myers. Myers. <laughs> Michael Miles, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. We actually got to meet him, Michael Myers. We oh. did. He pulled us over. He's really nice. Why did he pull you over? Because he thought I was high as a kite. But she wasn't. I what wasn't. What are you talking about? I was wearing tie-dye and sandals and kind of like jeans and I looked high. And Brian was wearing sandals and tie-dye and jeans. No, khakis. And it was late night. Like and it was Jake late at night. And he thought that we were like high and we had drugs and everything else. So he called out the sniffer dog. And the sniffer dog was like up into the car. And he's like, is there anything in this car I need to know about before the dog comes in? Because if the dog finds something, you're going to get in big trouble. So this is like a police person? Yes. yes. His name's Michael know. Myers. And then Brian gave sure him a gun. Okay. He made sure we knew that he was Michael Myers, but not the one in the movie. Yeah. And okay. he said, you can just call me Mike. This is easy. I was scared. This is an easy... Answer. Okay, so first off, I'm going to put this in here. Alex, mm. shut up about being easy. Mm. I didn't grow up with you. True. This is not easy. Even she doesn't know all of them. Yeah. But I she's still getting a hundred lot more than 11 I 11 points. 12 points. Yeah, that. I've got six. Huh? You got so six. it's not easy. Every time you say it's easy, it isn't. This is easy because there's only a few answers. It's What's easy my... because in your mind it's easy. What's my favorite way to watch movies? Do I like to go out to the theater? Do I like to go to the drive-in? Do I like to just watch it at home by myself where I don't have to bother with people? How do I like it? Hmm. I'll give you an, a, a bonus point if you get the one detail correct.
I spell that correctly. Does Brian have an answer? My butt hurts. Indy goes first, right? No, I go first. It's even. So what do you mean by a bonus if we get the one? There's one specific detail that if you get it right, I'll give you a bonus point. I which, feel like I have my answer wrong. Which I can do because I'm allowed to. What question are we on? We are on question 32. This is your last question? No. Oh, I have 35 questions. Three more. Okay, I'm going to try the drive in with the family. Okay. And I put go to mom and dad's house and watch the movie with Brian and Lindsay. Y'all keep going for the suck up points. No, you like watching TV at mom and dad's. I like to watch movies at home in the dark with headphones on what so nobody can on? bother me. DVDs? Yes. Okay. Oh, like quarantine. What? Like quarantine. What about it? It's always scarier when you're at home alone. I was home, I was alone, the lights were off, had my headphones on so nobody could bother me. Yeah, that's scary. That's how I like to watch my movies. I don't want anybody bothering me. No points. What's wrong with Brian? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. My uh, favorite actress, female actor, actress, female movie person. You know who it is. I'm not looking. Um, my pen is down. I will not change my answer. Come on, brain. Think of it. Think of it. You know her. You don't even know your answer. I know her. I know what she looks like. Is this it? I can't say yes or no. I could look, but I can't say yes or no. I will not no. look in case you write down your answer. I'm not changing my answer, so if this is it, that's good. If it isn't it, that sucks. I but that might give you an idea of uh, the actress's name. If it is not right, it might put some names in your brain. Imagine if I just looked at it and said yes. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what? <laughs> that's not helpful. I just like... I was laughing. What? I was laughing and my thing spiked. Oh. You've been spiking this whole time. Have I? Mm -hmm. Not really. A little bit. Not much. When we normalize it, it'll go down. Y'all getting a view of our behind the scenes. Yeah. Of how we do things. We're not editing anything out. No. <laughs> you had to sit through all of this. Yeah. If you want to see who wins. Okay, go ahead, Lindsay. Are you sure it's my turn? Mm-hmm. It's an odd question. I put Jennifer Lawrence. J-Law. You like J-Law. J-Law's good. Okay. Brian? I just put Scarlett Johansson just because I have not the foggiest. And I've been guessing wrong this whole time, so what's the use? The answer is Kate Blanchett. <laughs> I knew that? that! She's the best. Who the hell is that? The best. That's who. She's blonde. And the best. <laughs> okay, so what movie does she play? Uh, the Lord of the Rings. All of them. The Hobbit. All of them. Um, She's the elvish woman. Yes. The elvish woman. <laughs> what a casting. Uh... 
All right. Um, as a duality to that, my favorite male movie person. I don't know. I'm just gonna put a name down. Brian goes first. You drawing pictures over there? No. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Lord of the Rings idea and go with the Elijah guy. Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood, whatever his name is. I said and Elijah something. I put Owen Wilson. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea. Wow. The answer is Morgan Freeman. Um, I love him. He's the best. To you. Some would say that Johnny Depp is the best. Some would say. <laughs> Some who are wrong. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. And the final question. This has nothing to do with anything. I just put it at the end because I felt like it. It's my favorite sport. What's your favorite sport? Duh. Okay. And I go first. Because it's question number 35. Mm-hmm. Hockey. Don't know why. I already started putting Tennis. it and realized Brian was probably right. Tennis. I saw his answer and I was like, damn it, Brian's got it right. I'm not going to change it. Your favorite sport is hockey. It is. What's Brian's favorite sport? I have no idea. Hockey? Do you have a favorite sport? Mm. You probably like the rodeo. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I've been in the rodeo. It's not that good. Not that good to be in it. No, it kills you to be in it. To and watch it? put your tally mark at the top in the middle of your board. How many you got right, Ryan? Uh, really I'm not, not going to try. Mine's no. so much smaller than yours. It's not even worth me even trying to. Just that people Oops. can see what we got right. I got seven right. Why are you so upset? I'm you did upset. your best. I told you I got seven right. That's all you need to know. And I got 12 right. Mm -hmm. Seven to 12. Lindsay wins the whole series. Yay. Doesn't feel like a victory. It's a victory. You won. Can I do this gritty stuff so I can clean this off? All right. And... I had good fun. Me too. I love finding out that the people that I spend a lot of time with don't know much about me. That's always good fun. That person you spend a lot of time with. What? It's not people. What do you mean, people? I spend all my time with you two. Anymore. Anymore. You don't spend it with anybody else. But I'm saying there's only one person that you spend most of your time with in this room. Me. Thank well, you. that doesn't count. Yeah. You, you know, I'll spend time with you anytime. Well, what, I'm, what, I, what I think, and I'll just say it this way I'm surprised Lindsay did not get more right, considering that she's been here twin since a wee, a wee mite little s sparkle of a thing. Can twins be born a year apart? Yeah, he says that we're twins, but we're actually not. But but could we be? Answer the question <laughs> for the people. Technically, We're yes. We're pretty similar. We might as well be twins. Well, Technically, yeah. twins can be born a year apart. Then it's if official. the mother has, We're like, twins. separate... I've decided. U uterus. I don't want to hear that. You separate want to hear... No, don't it's say uterus. That. Is it uterus? If the woman has a septum in her... Listen, this is getting too graphic for me. Where's your cap? My on cap the floor? is way over there. <laughs> So Look. technically it could be, but that's why I'm saying I'm surprised Lindsay did not get more. I'm surprised. I must say really. though, I think she's kind of slacking. I'm surprised that either of you didn't get all the questions correct. I'm that boring of a person. Everybody really. should get all of them. But right. that's the thing though. You and Lindsay might have talked about a lot of this stuff, but you never talk about it with me. We always talk about YouTube. We talk about things that I like, and that's what's bugging me right now. Hmm. 
is I realized, you know what? I'm a very secret know. person. We don't try to know what Alex likes. I don't feel bad about it, if that's what well, you're trying to no, do. Well, makes what's it so, me. like, now we can learn about Alex. You've already so learned like, everything you know need to know about me. That's it. It's all on remember film it now. now. I mean, I, I pride myself that you guys don't know a lot about me. I expect that I leave it that way on purpose. That's what I've but done. Ha- have we tried Just to land down there so they don't make noise, Brian. It's a unique idea. Well, we had fun. Mm-hmm. We enjoyed ourselves. That's the last of the uh, Who Knows Me Best videos. And next week, we're going to be doing Draw Our Lives. Yep. So stay tuned for that. We're going to uh, finish the month out with uh, the Draw Our Lives video. That's going to be real fun. Yep. And for them. Hmm. Brian's True. nervous, but like he's had the most exciting life of all three yeah. of us. But and I can't he doesn't draw. know what to put. <laughs> if we could draw his life, that would be the greatest video ever made. Right? Maybe I should just let them draw mine. Nah. <laughs> I don't feel like doing all that. Maybe we should work. let the cats draw his life. <laughs> Uh, we need to have our cats make a... Uh... Draw their lives? No. <laughs> I lived in a shoebox? No. <laughs> I started off on a farm. This weird guy chased me down, stuck me in a chicken box. We and went on a two-hour drive, two-and-a-half-hour drive, and then they let us go. And we no longer had any more cows or horses or ducks or chickens. Well, cows and Except horses. for this big giant whale of a woman that kept trying to get me. <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> and that dog was a bitch. Literally. Wow. No. <laughs> and then I lived for ten years, and then I died. <laughs> right. My only. But I've duty... got nine lives, so I start the next one. <laughs> My only duty terrifying. in this life is to eat the chicken. Actually, our cats don't eat a lot of human foods. Mm. Our female cat Lilo, she likes Cool Ranch Doritos. It's pretty awesome. But nothing else. Not yeah. sponsored. Yeah, not spawns. Not spawns? Not spawns. Sir. You don't have to say the end. But you should. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> All right. Stop your we've, arguing now. We've I'm rambled on for far too long. We need to end this video. We should have the cats make um a thing in the videos one day. Someday, but not right now. We'll talk about that later. We need to end this video. Okay. So, end the video, sir. Now. Oh, I end this one, too. Yeah, Ooh, end we. it. Okay, folks. Thanks for listening to our video today. If you liked everything you heard, please subscribe mm-hmm. or t- hit the like button. Also, so you can keep on getting notifications from us, hit the bell notification. Mm-hmm. And if you have any comments or problems or anything, please post it in the comments down below. And remember, till next time, keep it creepy. creepy.